corner for Tormenta. Again, bodies everywhere, and it's in from Bosla. Tormenta takes the lead and puts Charleston on upset alert. Really good delivery from Bill Hart. Bosla backtracking, contorts his body, and does a brilliant job of just guiding it to the far post. A new lit torment to side here in 2022. Roberts deposits it to the left. Low cross, Spangenberg committed to it. Tormenta has the goal. Spangenberg wasn't expecting to get it onto his goal. He punched at it with a left hand and finishing it off is Curtis Thorne. Tormenta strikes first in this US Open Cup. There it is. We spoke about the underdog potential taking lead. That's not the easiest ball to deal with for Spankenberg. The ball picks up speed after it's the ground. But there it is. The forwards there ready to tap in the rebound and Tormenta find themselves in the lead despite being under the pressure for a lot of this first half. Well, Jay, I'm not quite sure what he was attempting to do. A yellow was shown to Prosper Kasim. So note that for Birmingham. Cabral with the corner. To the middle! Completely unmarked! Completely unmarked and Tormenta is up 2-0! A 2-0 advantage for the visitors in the U.S. Open Cup. And you can credit this to Jake Dangler. And he finds an easy tap into the back of the net. There was nobody there before finally Van Keezeel noticed that, uh-oh. The wherewithal to cover up for your keeper when he goes out as this corner kick swings in doesn't get very far but they could have a second crack at it much better service here header oak towards goal and the header combination gives tormenta the early lead a quick one two noggin punch for the visitors he headers in his career i'm sure this one was it wasn't the greatest of set pieces, and Phelps kept it alive. Served back in, and the Greenville defense just lost complete track of RJ three yards out. Not many professional soccer players are going to miss from there, no matter how tall you are. There, that miscommunication in the center of that Greenville defense, which we thought might be an issue tonight. Nobody picked up RJ Polak and Fricky right behind him. They were around the ball a little bit in the first 10 minutes, but it's been very quiet since then. Ajay, light oh. on his feet, slips it through. Boshu off the shot, and it finds its way through. It is a 2-0 lead for Tormenta on the road. And Ajay turning provider this time. And it's this pass from Ajay coming here. Oh. Pass through the middle, yeah, just cut Greenville wide open, and Christensen slightly out of position. And he won't get the assist for it, Ajay. Here in Kino North. His chance now, Bill Hart, 20 yards out with the left foot, that's the end of the shutout. Adrian, Bill Hart, don't give that man a chance from that distance, he'll make you pay. And the German gives the visitors a 1-0 lead. Good ball in, just too much space left for him by FC Tucson at the back. It's a quality shot past Marencio. It's been a long road back for Adrian Bilhart. Not an easy task, he'll go short. Morel, looking to get the ball in and does, off the head and it's in, 2-0. Barry Sharifi. Little short corner, threw the timing off for Tucson, and it was a lovely delivery from Morel. And Marancio is beaten once again, and Tormenta look to put this one away in the desert. And Kalen Fox at that front post, and Sharifi basically unmarked between the two center backs. And that was a good finish into the far corner. And we get the goal cast tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. Sterling in behind here for Tormenta, and he scores! Kazea Sterling gets one back for South Georgia Tormenta. They've more than earned their goal tonight in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, lovely ball through here. 
Sterling one-on-one -on -one with Calendar. Got a foot on it, but just couldn't keep it out. He was wanting the clean sheet was Drake Calendar, but it won't be tonight. It's John Bradford putting Ian Cameron's center backs to the test. Here's Cabral. Oh, that's going to work out. Yeah, it was poked by Martinez. Here's Kaziah Sterling, and it's 1-1. One, one. A beneficial touch allows Kaziah Sterling, the 23-year-old out of England, who we mentioned earlier, played for Tottenham six years ago. I think it's Martinez here, just has a little nibble at Bill Hart and just pokes it into the path of Sterling, who fends off Lou Young and then slots it past Pulisic expertly. And he took his goal well against Miami in midweek in the Open Cup. And he's rewarded the opportunity today that Coach Cameron's offered him with a big, big goal. And his post-game talks was ever so proud of his, of his players and the way they represented Tormenta. Oh, what's a good tackle. He's got the ball. And Bill oh, Hart slips it through for Sharifi. It's Barry Sharifi who makes it 2-1 in favor of Tormenta. And yeah, the ball goes into McLaughlin. He's got the ball and, and Phelps does really well to win the ball. And it's a fantastic ball from, from Bill Hart into Sharifi who does ever so well to compose himself and find the far corner past Pulisic. But it all came from McLaughlin dropping short and Phelps just nicking it off him. Uh, I think North Carolina coaching staff felt that it was a foul on McLaughlin. But they've got their distances and between the back four and the midfield and where they're holding that line, they've got them absolutely spot on the second half. Always left it short. Yeah, and Pulisic didn't realize it. And Boshua wins the challenge, taps it in, and Tormenta have a 3-2 lead. Gerald. There's a right foot of his own. At the stripe, headed back. And here comes the attack. And that is in the back of the net. Barry Sharifi makes it 1 0. Tormenta in the 22nd minute. Made it happen. Starts with Ajay centering. And then that finds the back of the net. And it's all because Sterling really can't handle it. Honey doing a good job on that back line. Both goals for Richmond coming from their defense. And that is the equalizer. Back of the net. Bill Hart makes it 2-2 in the 64th. Very aggressive, very compact, very, very disciplined. Take advantage of a ball in the box. And wide open is Kingsford Ajay. Ajay going down the pitch. Ajay still going, gets past the keeper. And Tormenta strike first. Kingsford Ajay all alone on the run. And with some fancy footwork that he is capable of providing, he weaves past the keeper and tucks it home. So let's take a look at that one again. Adrian Bilhart, he sees it, he lofts it. And Ajay is able to bring it down. Penyarunda makes some contact, but Ajay is unwavering. Good touch. And after that part, Ball in from Bill Hart, looking for that first home goal. There it is. The monkey off the back. It took 463 minutes, but Tormenta have scored a goal at home. And it's Jake Dengler, all smiles for his first goal of the season. As we take a look back at our Coca-Cola replay, it's a set piece buried by Dengler. First home goal of the season. This the sixth home match, and they do it in the 13th minute. And Cassini whistled for the foul 
on Otieno. Ajay looking for that equalizer. Ajay goes centrally. Ajay, yes! And we're deadlocked at two. Third of the season for the man who just minutes ago was on the doorstep and could not convert in back-to-back -back matches. As we look at our Coca-Cola replay, he creates that window of space, works it past Brino. One-on-one -on, -one on a really skilled defender in Mitch Elsmond. Here they come down the left, Roberts. Great cutback, Bill Hart, 1-0. Beautiful, beautiful goal. And so well finished by Bill Hart, calmly stroking it home. That's gorgeous for Tormenta. And they take the lead in the 17th minute. Well, they've shown promise in that attack early on. And Roberts, what a great cutback that is. And Bill Hart, that's so calm, just steering it home, knowing he has the goalkeeper moving from left to right putting it back where he came from. Now, does Cabral try to bend it over that wall and go for that near post? Andrejita's off that near post quite a bit. Cabral, and it's in the net. It's an own goal. It's 3-2. And then a yellow card showed to Piedrajita, and again, Union Omaha have made it hard on themselves in these final minutes. Yeah, it's Bawa. Isaac Bauer own goal. He's just trying to head that. And they dial way up in the 60th minute. And that finds the wall. Second effort. Whoa! What a goal! Somehow, some way. Tormenta. Outplayed from the jump, but it's the visitors who strike first. He blasts it into the wall. It comes back to him, clears everybody, and goes in. Let's see, this will be the angle. Comes under the wall. Gabriel Cabral, his first goal of this season. At home, zero goals at home until forward Madison came in on June 19th. They've got four in their last two. Is there a goal here? Yes, there is! Chattanooga got sloppy in the back. Tormenta threw the numbers forward, and Jamil Roberts with a left foot gives Tormenta the 1 0 advantage. There you see. The turnover in the midfield, Sterling keeps his footing. It's sent low by Cabral, and the easy tap in for Roberts. As Aviles had committed, he was beaten. Tormenta made that look easy, all off of a Chattanooga giveaway. On the turn, Sterling. Sterling, split defenders to the middle, Torment on top, it's a late goal, perhaps a game winner, Gabriel Cabral has tormented 10 minutes away from the first home victory of the year. It all started with Sterling, look at the full head of steam, he had Cabral making the run with him, and Cabral unmarked in the middle. Yeah, look at that shot tally right there. If you looked at that, you wouldn't have expected the score line that sits right above it. Here's Cabral, Gabriel Cabral squares it centrally. Kaziah Sterling! One back for Tormenta. Kaziah Sterling. For just a moment here, it looked like the wrong decision from Cabral to Keeble not shoot this shot, but it bounces behind Nate Schultz and Sterling 
has his way with it. He thought maybe just try and tuck it near post. Coming from London, Kaziah Sterling with one goal already today. And make it a brace. Tormenta have halved the deficit. And it's a second goal brought to you by Savannah Hilton Head Airport. Kaziah Sterling, Coca-Cola replay once again. The penalty and the finish. Can't watch the match? Turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk, including USL All Access Tuesday nights at 7 Eastern. As Tormenta pushes forward. Here's the shot towards goal! And he puts it through! Another one back for Tormenta! What a rip from Jamil Roberts! Look at this on the Coca-Cola replay. Quickly retake the free kick. Roberts sees some space. Wham! Herb shot corner kick. Here's the corner. Header comes down! And that's the record breaking ninth goal in this game. But more importantly, Tormenta are within a goal against Greenville. Too much heat on that shot. Paul Christensen couldn't stop its momentum. It couldn't find its way in. Here come Tormenta again. Adani into the center. Here it comes, there it is! A colossal comeback! Tormenta level it! And maybe the brightest player on the pitch today has been Adrian Bilhart. He finds the equalizing goal. Remarkable. Ajay with a nifty back heel. Adani in the middle. Sterling leaves it. And Bilhart fights it through. Yes, this is happening. Finds itself on the wrong end of a penalty decision for a second straight week. Sterling puts it up or left, calm and composed, and Tormenta takes the lead. Kaziah Sterling, you gotta get past it. Sterling. Takes three hops up to the ball. Pulisic read it correctly, but Sterling, that's gonna be tough to stop. Precision penalty there for Kaziah Sterling. On both sides, both on the ball and attacking defensively. Chested down by Heckenberg, into the middle. Oh, a fantastic ball on to Sterling, around the keeper, and Tormenta immediately retakes the lead. Kaziah Sterling with his second, and the brace gives Tormenta the two to one advantage. It is chaos in South Georgia. Run on a beautiful ball from Heckenberg. On the money, Pulisic had to come out and commit. Sterling disposed of him, and Easy does it with a left foot. A pro's pro. A professional goal from Kaziah Sterling. And it's two to one, Tormenta. Uh-oh. Look at Labovitz here, oh my goodness. A lousy touch after a lousy pass. Now on the other end, Sterling trying to beat you defenders. He does and he scores! What an individual effort from Kaziah Sterling. plays out starting with this pass Owen Green lackadaisical there Labovitz makes a mistake with his touch and then Otieno goes all right let's give it to Kazea wow yeah Fricky just not quite enough pace to beat Kazea Sterling he's got pace to burn always got goal side of him 
cut back to the outside past Schultz. And Greenville obviously prepared for that and played pretty deep. That time they just got caught a little napping and Kazinga Sterling made them pay. Here he is again. Sterling taps it to Ajay. Look at that move from Ajay. Ajay rolls it and it's a second for Tormenta. From one talented striker to another, it's Kingsford and Ajay. Oh, by number seven. Good run here by Sterling Ajay. off the shoulder of Fricky. Waited for support. Ajay was in all sorts of trouble traffic wise, but then nine, found the gap Ajay and a good enough finish to beat Christensen. He was triple teamed here, Ajay. Just a little jink to open up that space, and that's a quality finish. Cabral. He'll take it, and he scores! Fantastic strike from Gabriel Cabral. It's a two-goal advantage once again for the visiting side. Maybe we can get a chance to sort of analyze it. Yeah, the world just completely fell apart. That's exactly what happened. Ibar took a step to his left. Labovitz jumped, went to his right, and that left a huge gap. And Momenta looking to break. Here's Bill Hart down the right side, and Vardy closing. A little hard inside as Sarakowski making a run. We'll go to the other side to Ajay. Into the box. Kingsford Ajay on his right foot looking to shoot. And what a finish! And Tormenta have their early goal. And Tormenta have their road lead. Kingsford Ajay fires them in front. We have had a goal as we get another look. Ajay on his right foot took one touch. That's all he needed. And he beats Aviles at his near post. What a sensational finish from Ach. It's been a pretty even opening 25 minutes. Otieno, another classy turn. Otieno rumbling at that back line. Otieno stamping it forward. Big chance, big goal. Tormenta in front. Kazaya Sterling tucks it away. His seventh of the year. And Tormenta looking to halt that losing run. Looking to get themselves back in that playoff picture. That's a big first step. Otieno just opened up for him, slipping in Sterling. Prodded it past Mitchell North. Fuego had some decent positional pressure in the first 90 seconds or so of this second half. Since then, Tormenta have been the better side and they have a two on one here. Sterling into the box. He has Ajay to his left. He doesn't need him. It's a second goal for Kaziah Sterling. It could be a priceless goal for Tormenta. Bad giveaway by Fuego. Ruthlessly punished by Kaziah Sterling, who used Ajay as a decoy. That is clinical. That is 2 0. See who strikes this one. Cabral, perhaps. He's got a wicked right foot. Oh, what a save by Zendaya. I think he got a touch on it. But it's in the back of the net on the rebound. And guess who? It's Kaziah Sterling again. His third goal in two games. He was hit with some serious venom by Cabral. He will see on the slow-mo. He definitely got a piece of it off the crossbar. Hit his leg and just fell, unfortunately, right to the feet of Kaziah Sterling. It wasn't an easy finish, as you can see. Ajay now, into the edge of the box. Ajay with the right foot, a shot, and it's 2-0 Tormenta! Clay Dimmick left, Kingsford Ajay, far too much space on the left side of the box. And just like Saturday, Tormenta find themselves with a two-goal lead on the road. Let's take another look at it here. Ajay with the good cut inside, and Ajay was there. Dimmick just didn't really close him down enough. Kingsford Ajay is too good of a player to leave that much space that close to the goal. And so Adrian Bilhart, who has four goals this season, looking to make it five. And he is, or Tormenta is two for two from the penalty spot this season. Akira Fitzgerald stands in his way, just five foot 11, but a savvy veteran keeper. It's Bilhart, and it's one nil. Tormenta 
the Road Warriors once again up top. That's going to be a tough one to save, even if you guess the right way. Dangler. Center back over on that right hand side. He's able to give it away. Here comes Otieno to the top to Sterling! And Tormenta, just two minutes into the game, have taken the lead. Goal for Tormenta FC, scored by number nine. Dangler Desire. is able to Sterling. get this one out to Otieno. Assisted by number 55, Tobias. And then Otieno drives Otieno. into the 18, finds the open pocket, and Sterling with enough power to get it through the hands of Peña Runda. Made them unpracticeable earlier in the week, which meant they got to practice on that new stadium. Wasn't exactly in the plans to do so, but I guess they can reap the benefits of that. As this one is in the open field, no goalie. Sterling shoots, and it's 2-1. A mishap turns into a second goal and a brace for Kazaya Sterling. Here's a look at it again on the Coca-Cola replay. Sierkowski makes the run. Kenya Runda just doesn't handle that one nicely. And you can see the frustration on the back line. It's Sterling on Pena Runda. It would be the first hat trick this season for Tormenta. Sterling stutters and finishes. Blasts it through the roof. It's 3-1 Tormenta. And Kazaya Sterling with a hattie on the night. That's Peña Ronda to pick a side, and he goes straight down the middle, straight up top. And as it rolls down the back wall of the goal. Akili is there. Cabral is there, left foot, right foot. Goes right at it, finds the back of the net. 76 minute. Tormenta gets the goal they've been looking for. And it comes on a set piece directly into the back of the net. Opportunity to take all three points. Left foot. Boom. Back of the net. It just gets prettier and prettier every time you see it. Yeah, it is. Here's the service, it's gonna sell well over, and it back into the middle, punched away, it's fully back through, and Josh Phelps, the center back, gets his first goal of the season. Moments after going up a man, are now up a goal. Here's a look on the Dairyland replay. Gets punched away, and then he's able to pop it right back on frame while Rosarena is still on the ground. Tormenta on the lead and have the player advantage. That's well done from Josh Phelps. Worth noting, he was for a little while experimentally placed up. Otieno first to it. Corralled by Bill Hart. Skips by one challenge. Step overs on his left. Fitzgerald. Right in front of goal. And it'll go across. Off the field and into the history books. Adani has inscribed his name across the page as the first goal scorer in Optimum Sports Medicine Field. Does come as a result of a corner. The set piece here yielding this opportunity that just falls out for Dangler does exactly what he's supposed to. And you can see immediately the arm goes up, claiming credit for this one. Here's a look. The acrobatic attempt first. Dingler. And then just coming off a heel, perhaps, and putting it into the corner. They don't care. 12 goals on the year. Kaziah Sterling. It's his biggest kick yet. And it's a lucky 13 for Kaziah Sterling, and it's 1-1 early in the second half. 
perfect penalty. Sent Piedra Hita the wrong way. Planted it in the corner. Kaziah Stewart. Granted, most of those games, in fact, all but one of them were played at Irk Russell Field. But still, just 15 points and a negative six goal difference at home. Trying to reverse that tide here. Ball centered across, all the way through. Shot into the bottom corner. Kingsford Ajay. Well, we told you to watch for that early start. And the Ibises have come up big early. Great work on this outside. Bill Hart combining. They get it across as Sarakowski just draws three players in white around him. Watch here, surrounded by three. No one at the back. Thorne. Akale. Ajay. All the way across. Sarakowski! Ryan Sarakowski doubles South Georgia's lead. Once again, it's Kingsford Ajay and Akale who come up big. First the ball in, Ajay. Looks like he's gone away from it all the way in the corner, but no. Still serves in a great ball. Controlled so well off the left foot. Ajay. Sterling had a relatively quiet first half. Can he open the second half with a bang? Yes, he can! Kaziah Sterling! What a start to the second half for the home team. The man from England ties it up at one. It's RJ to Sterling. Just wasn't really closed down. It was just one lovely touch to his right. And that's a quality finish. As with the first goals in Dejas, we probably think he should have done better, but it was a rasping strike from Kaziah Sterling. Up steps Sterling, the long run up. Scores! Kaziah Sterling gives the home team the lead here with his 15th goal of the season and the second of the night for the man from England. Here's a replay of the penalty team. It's a very calm run up by Sterling. A little start of step and the finish as he sent Dejas the wrong way. That we could potentially see in the League One Finals, whether it be Greenville Chattanooga or Tormenta Chattanooga. Uh-oh. Here's Cabral jumping on that pass. Bounces around a couple of times to Kale! Check that, it's Kaziah Sterling. Who else would it be? After his captain jumped on a mistake, Tormenta find the goal advantage. Here's a look on the 11-11 systems replay. Fenton completely unaware that Cabral was coming. Kazai Sterling got a little lucky that that ball bounced off Evan Lee and right to him. And another quality finish by the former Spurs man. Composed with the left foot. Nothing Christensen could do. He came out to try and narrow the angle. Chattanooga taking its time. Aviles against Sterling. Sterling strides up, slows down, and scores! He's been the man for the moment in these USL League One playoffs, and he gives Tormenta an early lead in this final. Certainly enough for the contact. I said coming in, familiarity can be your biggest friend, but this is the problem. You get in the mind of a goalkeeper, he's done the same homework we all have. He knows the tendency is to the goalkeeper's left bottom corner, to the player's right. Sticks true to himself, feels like he's seen enough video. TJ Bush, the goalkeeping situation, and he said it's a big call, but if Ian sees something and believes in something, he won't be afraid to try it. Here's Sterling, plenty of space on the far side! The substitutes the one to make the impact! Jamil Roberts off the bench and into the history books. 2-1 to Tormenta. You talked about the national championship at Marshall. There's good reason why this is why he comes on late. The magic then, the magic now. How's the take first off? Watch the laces. Leaning to your right, head down, 
as you come down across your body, he's still able to produce enough spin and power to bring this thing to the near post. It's the most difficult spot to put the ball in the field. And yet, if it was going to be anyone